China has been facing some problems recently. There's a noticeable slowdown in economic momentum and this trend is evident across key indicators. Property sales and construction activity are sluggish, there is a slowdown in trade and job numbers are less than promising. On December 5th, Moody's, a prominent credit rating agency, downgraded China's credit rating outlook from stable to negative. Now, understanding credit rating is like evaluating your credit score. It gauges how reliable a country is in repaying borrowed money. Now, this change in outlook is a reflection of risk associated with structurally and persistently lower medium-term economic growth and the downturn in the property sector. Now, what's causing problem here is also rising debt levels. The worry is that the government might need to intervene by injecting billions of dollars to support struggling sectors, especially the property market. Now, this raises concerns about the government's financial stability and notably China's deficit to GDP ratio for 2023, which essentially measures total money spent in excess of income, stands at 3.8%, well above the long-standing 3% limit that it has seen in the past. Now, in summary, Moody's move to cut China's outlook to negative underscores worries about the economic challenges the country is facing and managing debt levels. However, it is important to note that Moody has retained a long-term rating of A1 on China's sovereign bonds, indicating a level of confidence despite the concerns. When the Federal Reserve decides to increase interest rates, it's not just something that affects the United States, it has a ripple effect that reaches beyond the borders, impacting us as well. The Federal Reserve has one specific goal in mind, to address and control inflation. To achieve that, they pay close attention to the labor market. If there's an imbalance in the job market, meaning more demand for workers than there are available workers, it can lead to higher wages. And when wages go up, companies often respond by raising the prices of goods and services, leading to more inflation. Now let's look at the recent numbers from the US job market. In October 2023, the number of job opening, openings in the US decreased significantly, a drop of 6,17,000 compared to the previous month. This brought the total down to 8.73 million job openings, the lowest level since March 2021. This decline was even below the market consensus of 9.3 million. This decrease in job opening is an indicator of a cooling US labor market. It is essentially telling us that the higher interest rates set by the Federal Reserve are impacting the demand for workers. The market is now starting to believe that the Federal Reserve might be done with its cycle of tightening monetary policy. But you will know only for sure in the next FOMC meeting, which happens next week. Now, we also got our hands on the India Services PMI Business Activity Index. This index is derived from a survey which includes 400 Indian service-oriented companies and these firms share their insights and perspectives on both the current and anticipated business activities. Now the November reading for India services activity is 56.9. Quick rule of thumb, anything above 50 signals expansion while below 50 indicates in contraction. At first glance, 56.9 might seem like a solid number but it marks the slowest pace of expansion in a year. Now this was because the growth in new work intakes and output was softer in November. However, despite the slowdown, these figures remain sharp and comfortably above their long-run averages. The reading has stayed above the 50th mark for an impressive 26 consecutive months. So in a nutshell, India's service sector is still going strong, just not as strong as the previous months. Having said that, this is me, Merlin Zana, signing off. Take care and stay invested. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment-related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.